Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the Nolan N87 helmet. The N87 is one of the most popular helmets of recent times. It's a real workhorse of a helmet that sits right up there when you're looking at the best value lids on the market. It's been around since 2016 and it's won a hatful of awards over the last five years. The N87's shell is made from polycarbonate. Nolan used Lexan, which is a high quality version of polycarbonate. That's something Nolan have been doing since they were founded way back in 1972. This size medium N87 weighs 1,560 grams on our scales. That's not the lightest in the sports touring category, but it is pretty good for a plastic shell helmet, which is usually heavier than a fiber shell. And we've also weighed some fiber shelled helmets that weigh a similar amount to this. The N87's venting system is reasonable. It's usually the case that plastic shell lids fall down in this area against fiber shells, but it has chin and top vents on this helmet. The sliding chin vent, here is pretty good and that brings through a decent scoop of air. It's also really easy to use. It's got nice and chunky. On the top, there are twin sliding vents just here. This is the second N87 I've worn and airflow isn't amazing, but it's okay. It comes in through the two holes at the top into the shell and then there are channels in the impact liner that allow air to circulate from front to back and then come out through the permanently open exhaust vents at the back here. The visor on this helmet is a really classy piece of kit. The lifting mechanism has a pivoting design, so it rotates backwards when it's either fully raised or fully dropped. As you lift or lower it, the mechanism here moves forward before rocking into a more secure resting place on its last notch. Simple to remove and replace. It took me 20 seconds, and that's without doing loads of practice runs. It's intuitive and it's easy. It's also fitted with a Pinlock MaxVision insert. It's actually on the visor when you buy the lid, so there's no need to faff about. You can just get on and ride. The sun visor as well is a cut above the norm. It has stages on opening and closing, so you can leave it partially down, and there are steps on that lever, so you know that it's going in graduated amounts rather than just up or down. It's also anti-mist, and that puts a lot of much more expensive helmets to shame. So moving to the inside, it's a typically comfortable Nolan lining that slips easily in or out. It's antibacterial, so that means it's going to be less whiffy for day-to-day -day riding, which is important on a lid like this that I would say is really aimed at daily riders. It's also what Nolan call eyewear ready. So take the foam out of the cheek pads and there's a top section just in here that you can take out to give room for the arms on your spectacles. Behind those cheek pads, there are recesses for intercom speakers just in here. The N87 is prepared for Nolan's NCOM setup. It integrates neatly by removing and refitting the trim around the base to accept the control unit and the battery. One of those units is £170 for a single unit or £300 for a twin that gives you the ability to communicate rider to pillion or rider to another bike. Another optional upgrade for this helmet is Nolan's Emergency Stop System, ESS. It screws to the back of the helmet just here and it uses an accelerometer to detect that you're braking heavily and then it lights up to give you an additional braking light and a draw attention to the traffic behind you. It costs about 100 quid. The problem is you can't have that and NCOM at the same time. You've got to make a choice between communications and that braking light. The strap for this helmet is micrometric. It's a two-stage operation. So you lift the red tab on this part here and then this gray section comes up to release the toothed slider. Just simple like that. Approvals for this helmet, it's ECE 2205 for the road and it's also ACU gold so you can use it for track days and for racing. It comes in a wide range of sizes that come from double XS up to triple XL. There are two shell sizes that cover that range. Everything up to including medium sized helmet goes on the smaller shell and then large and above run that bigger shell. Nolan also has, in addition to this helmet, an N87 Plus. It has a slightly superior lining, which is also adjustable and lets you alter the angle at which the helmet sits on your head and also emergency cheek pads. You pay another £20 for the Nolan N87 Plus. We've made a video about that helmet and the link's popping up now. I would say if you really like the colour schemes and a, an adjustable angle of liner is really important to you, then it's worth going at 20 quid. But on the whole, I would say this helmet is just as good and it's 20 quid cheaper. Customer reviews for the N87 are reasonable, with 73% of reviews being five stars. That's not an amazing performance, and I would say this helmet is definitely more popular with professional reviewers 
than it is with customers. I would say a lot of that comes down to noise. When you're reading through those reviews, you can tell that there are people who feel that this is a little bit on the noisy side. My experience of this, I've used N87s for about 2,500 to 3,000 miles, and I found that it is a little bit noisier than average. I always wear earplugs, and I found that it's acceptable with that, but if noise is an absolute priority for you and you're looking for a quiet helmet, then I would suggest either getting a really impressive pair of earplugs or possibly looking elsewhere because I don't think that this has been absolutely optimized to make it a really quiet helmet. I hope that tells you everything you wanted to know about the Nolan N87 helmet, but if there is anything you'd like to ask or to add, then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching.